Hello YouTube, this is Ray. I made a video because I was having trouble finding one that did what I was trying to figure out how to do. When I finally figured it out, I thought maybe other people want to know this. Um, and that is how to create an automated cobblestone generator and an automated obsidian generator in Sky Factory 2. Um, in Sky Factory, it was easy to make an automated cobblestone generator. You just set up your lava and your water to pour together to make a piece of cobblestone took your transfer node attached to it and it just sucked it out well I don't know if there's something wrong with my with my download or if it was changed this way you'd have to ask bacon donut props to him this is awesome by the way anyway so what I did is I built a mining turtle which mines the cobblestone okay once it mines the cobblestone then the transfer node sucks it out of the mining turtle and sends it down to my deep storage unit um, I'll go into the programming of the mining turtle in just a minute alright so a cobblestone comes down the pipe to a deep storage unit here. An item transfer node comes out to a pile of crucibles that I have set up. Six of them. Well, the six of crucibles are pushing lava into a uh, liquid transfer duct, which then is slowly filling the stone barrel. 23%. Well, in a stone barrel is sitting next to an uh, automated activator, which is pointing towards it. If we look on the automated activator, or autonomous activator, uh, we have an empty bucket sitting in there, and it was set to right click. Well, so that tells me it's going to try to fill that bucket. But knowing these things as we do, if it filled it with a right click, it would then dump it back in. But it can't do that because of what I've set up. So what we're going to find is when that lava bucket fills, the bucket's going to fill up, it's going to get dumped in here, and turned into an obsidian down below. And look, here's our bucket, still empty. All right, that's done by setting up this transfer node with an item filter. And you see the item filter says that it has a lava bucket as its uh, item that it wants to take out of there. So as long as this bucket's empty, it won't take it. But as soon as that bucket fills with lava, then the item transfer node with the filter says, I'm taking you. And then it'll drop it right into this other activator. And it's set to aim low because the water is one level below it. And it's set to right click. So as soon as that uh, lava bucket shows up, through the uh, item transfer node and through the pipe, it's going to appear in the inventory, dump the bucket, and then it's going to disappear. Just like that. Okay, so what happened to it? Well, if we look at this item transfer node, we have it set to item filter bucket, an empty bucket. So as long as there's a bucket that's got lava in it, it won't take it. But as soon as that bucket's empty, it'll take it out this pipe, run it right back over, and here's our empty bucket again. It will do this endlessly. So long as it has lava, the process will, will work. So if we drop down below and look at what our mining turtle has in it, it's got several stacks of obsidian. Now, I was able to actually get obsidian faster this way than I was um, using Tinker's Construct to develop a tool that was able to mine obsidian because I found enough diamonds to create a pickaxe, build a turtle, um, the build on that's not that complicated, and I've got obsidian. Uh, same, the same program with the turtle works with cobblestone, and it's a simple do while true, and then turtle dot detect brackets, and then turtle dot dig brackets, and then end, and that says the turtle is going to wait until it sees something in front of it, and then it's going to dig it, and it takes the what it digs right into its inventory, and you can just come anytime you want and uh, take it out. Uh, or you could set up another transfer node and push it out to an ME system, which I'm still having trouble finding all my presses uh, to, to build an ME system, as it's a little different in Sky Factory 2. But anyway, this is how I figured it out, and uh, maybe there's a better way. I don't know. But this seems to work, and I thought I would share it. You guys have fun playing Sky Factory 2, and enjoy.